Hey everyone, this is Terry and Rosie. We made it to the one end of the trail and came over to the rope swing that I made. It's probably, oh, 65, 75 feet up in the tree there on the side of the hill. So I uh, used to have a seat on it, but one of the kids or somebody's cut off the bottom part of the rope, so now you have to hang on it, but you used to be able to sit on it. Uh, it's not too high. You swing out maybe 15, 20 feet high and maybe uh, 20, you know, that about that far out, 15, 25 feet out. So it's not too treacherous. It's a little swing next to the ones uh, me and my brothers all grew up making uh, all over the uh, little Miami Valley, Dayton area. We'd make them down by the uh, Little Miami River growing up and did this type of stuff all my life. So and I guess Rosie did some things like this in the Philippines, jumping out of trees into <laughs> creeks and rivers. Yeah. And there's a river. So we up on the tree and then there's the river there She would, we yeah, she, like this yeah. So we still enjoy it. It's a little harder and you're a little more stiff trying to do it, but uh, we still, I still try to do stuff. So. But uh, yeah, so the commando line we just did earlier in one of the other videos. So just sharing this beautiful day. Terry and Rosie, uh, did I mention we're uh, Terry's Philippine Journey, uh, the channel, an adventure channel uh, on uh, YouTube. We just have the Terry's uh, Philippine Journey. Uh, kind of keep it brief and short. Uh, so... Uh, we just started a couple months ago on the channel trying to document our life here in the American. Uh, she's found a little woolly worm on there. Let the camera zoom in. I don't think it wants to. It's not wanting to capture it. It's keeping it real fuzzy for some. Well, it is fuzzy. That's yeah. not because the camera won't look. The uh, yeah. worm is uh, actually that fuzzy. So it's not my camera. It's just a fuzzy worm. So, uh, but we have about uh, 25 acres of land over here. It's not ours, but it's parked and private owned. But we've been hiking, I've been hiking over here for 35 years. And Rosie uh, has been uh, coming over here with about five years, six years since she's been here with me in America. And because of uh, Parkinson's and older age and stuff we have decided to uh, try to move back why everything's uh, favorable to do so and uh, go back to the philippines and have a second uh, life so trail there's lots of little trails in here it goes about uh, two or three miles loops around and so forth it's a real pretty uh, field up here farm field it has soybeans in it this year so just uh, trying to document our time here and our life and then... But you know what I really miss so much? <laughs> our bikings. Here in Ohio, there's a lot of uh, bike trails that we can go through all over Ohio, Cincinnati, Columbus, London, and uh, Tillacote. So I'm, I'm going to miss it all. We really both love uh, bike riding as well. Yeah, I've been a cyclist for 35 some years and uh, we sh shared that with Rosie. Uh, right now we've been doing, since she's been here, the recumbent trikes and of course I've electrified them with my health issues and it keeps us together because she's with the electric, she's just as quick as I am and we can go uh, 100 plus mile rides and do it at uh, any speed together and uh, there's no reason to get separated or uh, somebody getting tired, overly tired or having a bad day, trying to keep up with the other. So, uh, here, did you want to swing or do you want to no, get me? No. Here, I'll, I'll swing and p show people, I'll see what I can do. Here, so here, I'll go ahead and swing. Here's Rosie. She's gonna try to get a shot of us uh, so that the mic's here and the so don't right, cover it up. Okay. Keep it right. keep it like that. So I'll get back and hopefully won't end up in the woods hurt. Yeah. There we go. Be careful, huh? 
there's an old farm fence here you gotta be careful not to mm -hmm. get caught on so there's a lot of wires here and, well stay um, back and watch me there you ready yeah this one bad here yeah it will cut your feet don't, don't turn can be cut it off all right so you hold on like this this used to have a seat down here and you'd sit on it and go out but yeah we used to do they that cut the, somebody, somebody cut, cut it, it off so now oh. i two hands hold on tight and uh and hopefully everything's good and strong i kind of this is the first swing of the year so it's so high up there very so high when All we right. start uh putting it there we use the stone and throw over there so that it will uh one of the one of the you ready drop off. all yeah. right be very careful huh please I'm just trying not there's to. a lot of stuff there that can cut your all right feet. Here, here i go <laughs> you scare me <laughs> well done honey yeah, that's i'll it. come out this way that's yeah. it be careful here one more watch me ready yeah okay be okay. careful huh? all right be careful he's like a little kid Woo! <laughs> i just that wire him yeah one more time all right we'll go over this uh, tripping over that mind, wire. mind your feet with that with those wires I here wanna, is little terry I one two three Yay! There you go. <laughs> okay. I want to try to kick the limb out there. Yeah, I know. You enjoyed it. All right. Okay. Sorry for the covering up the camera there briefly. <laughs> Let's walk up to the field and show them this beautiful field real quick, and then we're in the video there. So, but uh, yeah, I've been doing things like that since I was six seven eight all my life so i'm now 60. what are you rosie 54 or five six she's 56 she sneak <laughs> i've lost track of time <laughs> i've got her at 54 55 uh, which is always good to make a lady younger and not older get in trouble making them older so uh, yeah, I got some logs here. Where... Yeah, she's 56. That's a thing I wanted to comment about. Philippine people, or just Asian people from other countries, for the most part, they look so much younger than uh, Americans. Rosie, to me, at 56, she looks like a 25, 35-year-old oh, American. She says no, but I, I say yes. So they just have a, I think it's their diet they and the from your eyes. culture. So they look very young. Like I got, I've got gray hair and a lot of gray hair and she has almost none. So they age very, uh, very well. I was at a Hong, uh, Chinese restaurant a few years ago and I said around, I said, so when are you getting out of school, high school? When are you getting out of high school? They say, sir, uh, I'm 40, 45 years old. I have two kids or four kids. I said, I said, no, I can't believe it. You look like you're 15 or 20, 25 years old. And then they pass the food around, all kinds of Chinese food. And, uh, I, I laughed. I said, they said, what are you eating, uh, Terry? I said, I'm going to eat whatever you guys eat because I want to look like you. So this is a real beautiful field. I just wanted to show you. This is probably a hundred acre field here in America. I'm not sure what, how many hectares that would be in the Philippines, but it's real. It's a pretty day, uh, partly cloudy. This is soybean here. Every year they alternate between usually it's corn and soybean. And then over there that uh Soybeans. that uh how many weeks does they going to harvest this one? They'll be harvesting. They already harvest that field, so oh, okay. at any time the farmer thinks it's good to bring it in, it's time to bring it. Yeah. 
So this morning I did my uh, run, me and the here? dog, I this ran day? over there in that field. Oh. So that's all cut down. That's a soybean field that's been harvested. And this one's not been harvested yet. So that's why that one way over there looks more brown or a different color because that's a soybeans have been harvested. So just beautiful out here. Uh, this is, I'm hoping to see this type of stuff and be in the country, the province areas in the Philippines. I don't, I like the cities a little bit, but I much rather have the country uh, views and it just feels uh, more free. So I think Rosie enjoys it just as much as I do, so. But this woods goes all the way down across the field to the other woods and we hike and run and bring her, bring her dog out here. And then Rosie, she loves to make uh, flower arrangements. So she's always uh, very creative and uh, likes to bring home something. So she some some beauty and something gets home and it looks like it's come from the floor. She picks this and that and somehow makes it look uh, beautiful whether uh, it started out that way or not but it's fall here so there's not a lot of color left and in the spring there's lots of uh, yellows and blues and different kinds of flowers some red uh, different ones up here here she found a little white white one like a little daisy oh, like that, like baby yeah so so she enjoys doing that and of course I enjoy the beauty when we get home get to sit there and smell it and look at uh look at the natural beauty that she makes up so and then uh here in Ohio there's a lot of uh hunters in the fall come October and uh, after Thanksgiving in November so they uh will put things up the trees here's one I'll give you a little instant so you can I don't know if you can see it or not but we'll get a little closer camera always seems to make things harder to see but this one's used this uh, thing here and he climbs up there and sits at the top about 15 20 feet up or more and when a deer comes by the field out here in the opening uh, then they shoot them and use them for food and so forth so you got to be careful in the fall when you're hiking because they put these stands up and they're every little bit there could be somebody up in the tree sitting there with a bow or a gun ready to shoot a deer hopefully not a person so you always got to keep your eyes open and learn where they're at so that's an old one i haven't seen anybody up in this one in a few years so but i still keep an eye out but so we're gonna finish cleaning up the trail here and uh, head back to the house. It's just made a short trip out to make a couple videos and share our trail system and a couple of our rope swings and commando lines with you all. And, yeah, and I'm uh, going to show you my flower arrangement. And uh, yeah, sure, be making something at home. She yeah. might make some shots. There goes a vulture up ahead. Yeah. Uh, just. Uh, there. Whoa, Let's see. Big. You can see it flying there. That bird there is probably has a uh, four to five foot wingspan potentially. So it's quite large. I'm six foot four, so it's probably as big or bigger than Rosie. So and she, cause she weigh you five four or something. Five, so five, five three, five four. So. Yeah, well, it's quite pretty here and a good day and hope everybody's doing well. And, you know, pl please uh, chime in and share uh, things that you do in places you go. And uh, if you have a channel as well, please share that. I'll uh, certainly subscribe or enjoy watching other videos. It's, uh, this is the YouTube com community and we uh, try to all support each other and try to share information. and some fun stuff and some informative educational things so but uh i think that's about it uh for now and so rosie spotted something else she's running through the field she likes something out there oh, it's a tall weed or grass plant so well that's it from uh
Terry's uh, Philippine journey and Rosie and hope to be coming at you here in the next few months from the Philippines and share that end of the story as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and we'll talk at you later. Bye everybody.